Hello, you already know me. My name is Rudy J. Boxman. I do live in Hengelo City in the Netherlands, Curaçao Street 57. You already know me of my previous videos with uh, a special topic about uh, a brand new law of nature which I discovered back in 1998. Well, today's topic Aliens from outer space. Are there aliens from outer space? Are there aliens? Well, I have to say yes, and that is uh, the topic of today. Because aliens from outer space do live in symbiosis with human beings on our planet Earth. But one problem, they are the host, so they are the rulers. Fact. There is a nature law that duplicates everything, including all events on our planet Earth. Well, the aliens are using these events to achieve their goals on Earth and on their planets. And that's a fact. Well, aliens... No, I'm talking about the success story of Jesus Christ, who was in fact a real alien from outer space. Before he came to Earth as a baby, uh, he was an alien. And when he was born on this planet, he became a real human being. After his death, he changed his body back for an alien body. Well, God and Jesus are, if you don't believe in them, you can use the word aliens. God and Jesus used and created events on planet Earth to achieve all of the goals to make sure that Jesus Christ became a real king and ruler during our present time. Now, the question is... How did they do it? And here is the answer. If you know that all events on our planet Earth comes in pairs of two because of a law of nature which I discovered back in 1998, you are able to create an original event and you can use the duplicate event uh, later on in time to achieve your goal. Well, Jesus and God, or aliens, if you like to use that word, they can save and store each event in order to use it later on in time to achieve their goals in heaven or on earth, the place where we live. We used to call it symbiosis. So, they used, for instance, Abraham, the well-known Abraham, and his son in the past. Well, the duplicate event, Jesus sacrificed, or, or were sacrificed, to the dead by God. So, they are uh, God and Jesus, in fact, uh, used the original event of Abraham and his son later on in time uh, during the time that Jesus lived on our planet Earth in uh, Jerusalem and Jesus was sacrificed to the dead. But not for long, not for eternal, because during Jesus' time there was a man named Lazarus, Lazarus. And uh, Lazarus was resurrected on the fourth day, as you all know it. Jesus waited one day longer than uh, during his death. So Lazarus, or Lazarus, was resurrected on the fourth day. Well, the duplicate event was 
Jesus Christ was resurrected on the third day. And that is exactly why Jesus waited a day longer to resurrect uh, Lazarus during his time. And now the most important one. The most important fact of all. Well, <clears throat> and uh, right now I'm sure that all scientists of the world and all history uh, historians uh, and historians of today are very uh, listening in today. Well, I have to tell you this. God and Jesus, or aliens if you like to call them, used the complete life of Octavian around 44 BC. That means 44 before Christ. Octavian had to go to, had to, go to fight against Mark Antony, as you all know it. Um, we can uh, go back into history and look it up. Uh, it was called the Battle of Actium. The Battle of Actium on September 31 BC on the I Ionian Sea near the city of Actium. Well, Octavian won and became ruler and Caesar of Rome and peace and prosperity came all over Italy and its borders around Italy. Octavian, whose name was changed in Caesar August, became a great king and a great ruler, and even beyond the borders of his kingdom. Well, what happened? God and Jesus used this event to put the duplicate event on Jesus Christ, later on in time. When? You might ask, well, here is the fact. Around 1900, that is a century ago, Jesus and his angels battled against Satan, the devil, and Jesus Christ won this battle. The duplicate event of the battle of Actium fell on this battle in heaven, between aliens. Oh yeah, Jesus and his angels... We are fighting against Satan, the devil, and his angels. And they were thrown out of heaven. I mean, Satan, the devil, and his angels. They lost the battle. So Jesus Christ won the battle with his angels. So what we will see in the end, Satan, the big snake, the misleader, of the entire earth, who is called Satan the devil, eventually he will thrown into fire to die. The original event was already created when Apostle Paul threw a snake into a fire on the island of Malta. And what will we see? So God and Jesus, or aliens as you like to call them, will use the duplicate event of that event to destroy Satan later on in time. And that will take uh, at least a thousand years from now. But the original event was already created when Apostle Paul threw a snake into the fire of the island of Malt, Malta in the Mediterranean Sea. And... Uh, you can look it up in the Bible. The event was already created. And that means, in fact, that uh, we do live, we have to live in symbiosis with aliens from outer space. They are existing close by. And they are the host. If they want to achieve a goal, they will create an original event on our planet Earth, or they just have to wait. And what they do is, they uh, save uh, the video from that event, 
we assume that it, I uh, we assume that it is a video, and that video will uh, will be run later on in time on a specific time, and uh, whenever the aliens like it to happen, it can. So we have to live in symbiosis with aliens, and that is very interesting. If you don't understand it all, just look at my previous videos on my YouTube channel, or you can also um, play this video over and over again to understand what happening, what is happening, and that is very interesting. You can use it wherever you like on TV channels, in the media, on universities, just to uh, to let everybody know we do live in symbiosis with aliens and there's no doubt about it they are the host if they want to achieve a goal in heaven on earth they are the host they will create an original event on our planet or just wait for that event and use that event later on in time the duplicate to achieve their goals well hope to inform you well and goodbye from now from Hengelo City from Rudy A. Boxman. And it was glad to have you on the show. Bye bye until my next pre uh, until my next video. Bye bye.